So you just graduated respiratory therapy school and you're getting ready to take the boards. So first you're gonna take the TMC or the therapist multiple choice examination and then you're gonna take the CSE which is also known as the clinical simulation examination. So if you wanna pass both of these, I highly, highly suggest you follow these tips. So starting with the TMC, what I really want you to do is start early. I started studying two months early. So what I used was I used Kettering. I highly, highly suggest that you use Kettering. One thing I loved about Kettering is it gave you several books to study as well as tons and tons of audio. So it was anywhere from 10 to 20 hours. I can't exactly remember how much audio. Um, but anyway, I played it on my way to work, on my way to school. Anytime I was in the car, I was listening to respiratory therapy material. Um, so I listened to it about three hours, or three times, sorry. <laughs> um, and I just continued listening to it. I put all the puzzle pieces together, just thought about different things in my head. Um, a lot of the Kettering material tells you how the test wants you to an answer these questions. So when you're studying for the TMC, when you're taking the TMC, you're working at the NBRC hospital. So a lot of times um, people will go and start working as a respiratory therapist with just their temporary license and they'll kind of be studying for the uh, TMC and then they'll go take the test, but they'll be answering it how they would in real life and the NBRC wants to, you to answer some of these questions their way rather than the way the hospital that you worked at did it. So that's one major downfall. Um, so something that we never did was we never got temp licenses. Our clinical instructor said, don't even bother with it. It's gonna mix you up. Just focus all your time on studying. So that's exactly what we did. So I, I'm gonna tell you not to get a temp license. I do know people who have gotten the temp license and have failed the TMC um, and they just, they can't pass it. So I think that you should just continue studying. And like I said, I used Kettering. I absolutely loved Kettering. So number one, start early. I started two months early. I think that gives you plenty of time. And then after I graduated, I studied for about two weeks and then I took my TMC. Number two, so I want you to also take as many practice tests as you can. So before I even started, I took um, the free practice exam on the NBRC website. And let me tell you, I bombed it. I failed completely. And that was okay. It kind of gave me a starting point. So let me see where I was. So then once I started studying for the TMC, studying all the material, I went ahead and kind of built off what I knew I got wrong. I built my weaknesses um, and I worked on my strengths a little bit, but not too much. I just wanted to get everything on a level playing field. That way I knew everything respiratory therapy, everything that I needed for the boards. So that's something that I highly suggest is before you even start studying, take a test, take a practice exam. So why I also started studying um, during school uh, for my finals as well as for my board exam, I did also take other exams or other practice boards on the weekends. Yes, that did suck because sitting down for one board examination was like three hours. I can't exactly remember the time frame. Um, if you know it off the top of your head, please leave in the comments. That way other people can see it. And that sucks. That's three, four hours a weekend. I'm just taking a test. That's not even actually like studying. So that's what I did is I take these tests um, because I wanted to pass on boards the first time because yes, Kettering is a lot of money, but the board exam is also a lot of money as well. So I think one exam is like $200 and you gotta take two of them. So right there is 400. I think Kettering was closer to 300. So <laughs> that was almost $700 I took just to pass my boards. Now my return on investment, I make much more than that a year as a respiratory therapist. So I was able to actually pay off all my school loans as well as uh, my payments for the boards if I really wanted to in one year. Um, I did go to school for free, so all of my expenses was really just the board examination stuff. I can make another video talking about how I went to school for free. I talked about it a long, long time ago. If you've been following me for a while, you probably know. But once again, like I said, that's for a different video. So my two things so far. Start studying early and take many, many practice exams. So I recommend six. So there have also been studies that show that this is the number one thing that predicts how well a student is going to do on the test. So if you're in school now, this is something I suggest. Take practice tests or practice quizzes for your actual 
test um, in NICU, or maybe it's on mechanical ventilation, whatever. Practice tests really, really do help. So some places that you can find practice tests um, include the NBRC website. You can take the free one or you can pay for the SAE. So I took both of these. Um, Respiratory Therapy Zone has a free one that you can use on their website. I highly recommend that as well. They have some great information overall about respiratory therapy. Um, now another thing that I used was uh, the test on the Kettering website. So those were some fantastic tests. They really helped me. So I'd say I took about six. And then once again, I took that free test right before I took the, uh, the board examination. Now, Respiratory Coach has also put a program out there for the TMC boot camp. Now, I haven't taken it. I know students who have taken it, and a lot of them love it. A lot of them have passed the board examination. However, some of them still have not completely passed, and that's okay. Um, every, there's a timing for everything. You'll get there. Just keep on studying, keep on working hard, and you'll become a respiratory therapist. And thirdly, I want to go ahead and tell you that the day of the examination, this is what I want you to do. So, the night before, I want you to get plenty of sleep. The day of, I want you to eat a nice, solid breakfast. Don't drink any coffee. Don't drink too much water. Make sure everything is perfect. Um, <laughs> because you don't want to get in there and be in there for 30 minutes, 40 minutes, and be like, crap, I gotta pee. So I believe they do allow you to take a break in the middle, which is fantastic. However, that does eat up some of your time. I do know a student who, uh, failed because they were running out of time in the last couple questions they just click 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 and they failed by a few points so make sure that isn't you and most of all breathe <laughs> um, you're taking the board examination to be a respiratory therapist so before you get in the car go through some breathing exercises just in through the nose out through the mouth before you sit down and just be confident tell yourself you got this um, I do have some other test tips that I do want to give a little bit of. So that's when you're actually taking the board exam. Go ahead and write down the ones that you don't know and just skip them. So I believe there's 160 questions, 140 of them are counted, and the extra 20 are just kind of, uh, they're studying it. So basically, so let's say the first three, I'm just like, crap, I don't know any of these. Don't spend a massive amount of time on these. Skip those, write down your little piece of paper, one, two, three. That way you know to come back to those and you can complete those. And then let's say four, five, six, you're like, oh, I know these, these are great. Um, so that sets up your mindset for, I'm doing great, I'm doing awesome, let's kill this test. Rather than spending 15 minutes on one, two, and three, and thinking to yourself, oh my goodness, this test is gonna be so hard, I don't know if I can pass it, that just, Get your mindset in the wrong space, you want to be in the right space. So all the questions that you don't know that are going to throw you off, give you a bad vibe, bad mindset, save them for the end. Um, and this is also nice because once you get to the end, you can kind of look at the ones that you don't really know. And then you're going to go ahead and you can kind of estimate your score a little bit off of those. Now some of the ones that you thought you got right, you're obviously going to get some of those wrong. We all do. But this gives you a good estimate of, okay, I only have five that I didn't really know, or I have 20 that I didn't really know. Um, it's gonna really give you a good estimate. Another tip that I wanna go ahead and tell you is that you're gonna have um, four choices in the multiple choice examination. So two of these answers are gonna be totally wrong. Don't even cross them out right away. Um, so let's say you're looking at what medications to give for um, somebody who's having bronchospasms. So you're gonna see benestadide, you're gonna think, eh, steroid doesn't really do anything. And then you're gonna see another one, it's like maybe it's tobramycin. You're gonna think, uh, no, an antibiotic, that's, that's not gonna do anything either. And then you're gonna be stuck between, let's say, albuterol and then another word that you never heard of before in your entire life. So you're gonna be scratching your head a little bit and you're gonna be thinking, yeah, it could be this one, uh, definitely albuterol, but I have no idea what this one does. Go with the one that you know works. Um, or if you get stuck between those two, pick, pick which whatever one that you think is going to work. Um, go with your gut. But overall, cross off two that don't make any sense at all. Let's say you're making vent changes. There's generally going to be two that just don't make any sense at all, and then you're gonna see two other answers that are going to be very similar, 
Just go with your gut. You got this. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoy these tips. I hope this wasn't too overwhelming. Um, I can give a little bit more tips about the CSE in another video. But first, I want you to pass that TMC. If you have any questions, if you need any uh, guidance at all, go ahead and leave a comment. You can also message me on Instagram. I've helped tons and tons of students out. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next one.